Are you recording? Yeah, you're recording? Okay, cool. What's up? 2018 Panini Donruss football four box break. Number one for uh, eBay. Come this way. All right, there it is on the screen as far as the title is concerned. Four boxes out of a case. Here we go. How's everything with you, though, Michael? What's up, Corey? My man says he got Detroit. Well, good luck to you, brother. There's a lot of packs in these cards, so what I'm going to do is just open up everything. The Browns and the Raiders, 17-14. I need uh I need Carlos Hyde to get the ball there a little some. The Browns are one one and one. Three point lead on the Raiders on the road. Watch out for the Brownies. They got a good defense. Who's Detroit playing today, Corey? Is that the Sunday night game? Lions against the uh, Steelers? Oh, they play Dallas. Gotcha. I wonder what Baker Mayfield's stats are looking like. Oh, you guys lost? Oh, you so you played already. Okay. Yeah, I'm a Dolphins fan, so you know how that goes. I only follow my team. Everybody else can suck it. No offense. Oh, that was Nick Chubb with that runaway 65-yarder there. Gregory, what's up, man? Went to your first game on Thursday night in LA to see your Vikings lose to the Rams. But, uh, you know, if I'm not mistaken, it was a good game, though. Although it's never a good game when your team wins, but, you know. At least it was. It must have been, you know, exciting to watch is what I'm, I'm saying. You know, it could have it been worse. It could have been, you know, what, how, what did the Dolphins lose by today? 45 to, like, 7? Whole lot of packs to open here. Yeah, Saints and the Giants must be having a defensive game or something. Nine to seven over there. It's a close one. Bethard with the Niners because of Jimmy G going down. Seventeen to six on the Chargers. Look at that. Michael says he's seen a video on TNZ of some dude getting flunked five rows down at the Chargers, I mean the Vikings-Rams game on Thursday night. And Gregory just so happened to see the whole fight. Look at that. The Bears looking good at 3-1. and one. Gonna be playing them boys in about two weeks. Oh, man. Oh, 
Well, it looks like panini points down there. Wow, Gregory. I'm glad, glad you didn't get hurt or anything like that. I hope you didn't get hurt. Listen, I don't care what anybody says. I like those Packers old uniforms, man. With the purple pants. I don't know. Some of them, they just look clean. I like them. All they're, all they're missing is the leather helmets. Oh, Patriots and Dolphins highlights. That's always fun. Dude, Dolphins were just like slow today all day, man. Patriots put us in our place. And let's see how the Dolphins respond to this. They're still, you know, we're still three and one. Still three and one. You got a crying ram's tail. What's that? Almost done opening packs. We're about halfway there. <laughs> it's a towel of the Rams, so the fans near me told me I could call it your crying towel. Okay, okay. Well, you know how it is, Gregory. Boys will be boys. Gotta give you a hard time. Especially at your first game, dude. Sucks that you experience a loss, though, because I'll be honest, man. My first game at the Dolphin Stadium, bro, was pretty awesome. We, uh, our, our, it was a few years ago. We were playing the Bills. I think it was the year we made the playoffs. And, uh, anyways, we are playing the Bills, and they did not score a single point on us. And we beat them like 30, 30, 40 points, something to, to zero. And it was pretty awesome. Now that I think about it, every Dolphins game I've been to, we've won. Every, I have yet to witness a loss. I've only been to two games, though, so. I'm trying to uh, keep those odds in my favor. You know, with that being said, let's say the Dolphins, by some kind of magic miracle, you know, end up in the Super Bowl and I have an opportunity to go to the game, 
I'm not gonna go just for the simple fact that with my luck, if I go watch the Dolphins in the Super Bowl, they're probably gonna set a record for you know the biggest Super Bowl loss in history. Cause you know that's just the way it goes with me. Uh, this week's Thursday night game is uh, Patriots Colts. Huh? Well, so Col the Patriots and the Colts have a short turnaround. Those Thursday night games must suck for players. On the plus side, the Hurricanes won. Turnover chain came out six times, baby. So there's that. We got we got to keep dominating though. Uh, although we didn't really dominate against North Carolina, man, they they ran the ball all over us. Uh, Gregory sending me a message on Facebook or something. I'll be honest with you, man. I don't really check that, dude. So if you ever, like, really want to get in contact with me, man, an email is probably the best way. RipCityCards at gmail.com. Especially if you're missing something, Gregory. Like, I don't know what your message is on Facebook or whatever. I just got, like, the, the alert on my phone. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, Gregory. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, cool. But yeah, dude, if, if it's like, if, if that's cool, awesome, no problem. But like, let's say you're missing something by any chance, or, you know, you have some kind of, you know, something that you want to run by me as far as like an issue you're having or anything like that with us, whether it be eBay or at our site, RipCityCards.com, email would be the best way. Um, because I, I really don't check Facebook messengers, um, messenger like that. I really only keep my personal Facebook for family and, and uh, really close friends. So when people send me messages on Facebook, mess like I don't really check that. Um, I do check the Rip City one, of course. So that's why I tell people, you know, just hit us up on the Rip City page or shoot us an email. That way I can get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, but anyways, let's uh, start this thing finally here see if we can see something nice it's one auto one relic per box in this uh, we have Brian Dawkins of the Eagles to 100 there what else we have truth be told I hate Facebook but you know it's it's just the name of the game these days Ken Anderson of the Bengals to 25. That's kind of nice. Gotcha, Gregory. No, it's all good. I'll, I'll check it out later. After, you know, done doing my uh, J-O-B here. But yeah, football games are very fun. I wonder how close you were sitting. I'm sure that's what the picture's about. Because when I went to the game, I was pretty up there. I was in, like the nosebleeds, if you will. The aqueous test for Drew Brees Saints. By the way, if anybody's wondering, and if you didn't read the, the description of the eBay listings, everything does ship in our eBay breaks, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, what, what ships and what does? Everything ships in our eBay breaks. Everything. In our store breaks, veteran base does not ship. Jared Cook, the press proof for the Raiders. That is Le'Veon Bell, the Steelers to 100. Won't be a Steeler for long. I think they're trying to trade him. Something like that. Oh, nice, Gregory. 
I mean, you know, not 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 so happy to hear about that one thing, but at least you do get that one benefit and and or whatnot. But uh, I I am sorry to hear that though, brother. Grr, let's see, uh, Marshawn Lynch to four hundred for the Raiders. The good thing with technology improving the way it, it is, you know, who knows, Gregory? Maybe uh, something can happen one of You never know, man. Medicine and technology are advancing pretty, pretty, pretty rapidly. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Six of ten. Lawrence Taylor of the Giants with the little uh, relic in there. It is player worn material, not game worn. That's kind of cool. There you go, Gregory. Turning it into a positive, man. I hope when I grow up, I can be half as strong as you, dude. That's awesome, Gregory. Lawrence Taylor, 6 of 10 for the Giants. That's nice. Oh, got you, Gregory. Damn, that's that's some that's that's a tough one. But I'm glad that mm -hmm. you're uh, got a good sense of humor and uh, you know you're positive about it. That's that's always awesome. Bo Jackson press proof for the Raiders. I need the Browns to give the ball to this guy called Carlos Hyde. And I need Carlos Hyde to do something with those touches. Like, you know, touchdowns. A couple hundred yard runs would be nice. Who is that reporter? Megan Olivi? Oh. I just caught myself throwing that card there. That's not cool. What do we have here? OJ Howard. Bucks Bucks almost usually have uh, good patches. Lots of color on them. This one's to 25. OJ Howard. Bucks. Got three colors on that. That was a good solid box. Josh Allen of the Bills to 100. The rookie card. Leave this. There you go, Gregory. That's what I'm talking about. You know, stick around, baby. Stick around. I'm gonna stick around and see what's going on. There you go, dude. That's listen, man. That's 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 the way to be, dog. Just be positive, man. Be positive, and great things will happen, man. That's awesome, dude. The uh, aqueous test here for Joshua Jackson of the Packers. They do have cool looking inserts like that. Uh, Tony Brown Dominic, that's pretty cool. A sophomore swatch for Mitchell Trubisky of one, number to 150 for the Bears. What's up, Luigi, over on uh, Breakers? Give the ball to Carlos Hyde Browns. I need a touchdown. I need a couple touchdowns. I need a few touchdowns from Carlos Hyde. Terry Bradshaw, he threw some touchdowns for the Steelers to 100. That MVP insert's pretty cool looking card, too. There's nice stuff in Donruss, man. But, you know, the, the base card situation is a little crazy. Deshaun Jackson, press proof for the books. Usually when they're like backwards like that or whatever, it's usually like a variation or like a short print or something. 
an autograph, a numbered card. So they, they throw me for a loop when they're not. You see how they see how they do me? They're doing it a lot in this box. There we go. Demarius Thomas die cut the 25 of the Broncos. Joshua, whoa. <laughs> well, you know, there's 2018. There's things you can do about that, you know. There are things you can do about that. Is that Jarvis Landry with that pickup? No, it's not. Good. Lamar Miller to 25 for the Texans die cut because the dude I'm playing with has Jarvis Landry. I mean, he's going to get his regardless because that guy's a baller. I need Carlos Hyde the ball out, though. Especially in the red zone. Come on, Browns. Run that football. Baker trying to, you know, pick up some yards there. All right, okay. Where or where is this autograph? John Elway to 400 for the Broncos. It's got to be in that stack there. A better. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. Put any points. 150 of them. Well, there's the auto. That would replace the hit right there. James press proof for the Chargers. For a rookie, he's having a good year. Josh Allen, speaking of rookies, to 100 for the Bills. He didn't do that well today. Came, came back down from last week. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, last week he put a spanking on the Vikings D. Yeah, welcome to the NFL, Rook. You, know, you have your ups and downs. Man, you see, how do you get in the red zone? And I don't think they ran the ball once. Come on, Browns. I should be an offensive coordinator or something. No, I think I'd be a great head coach. I'd be a great head coach. CJ Mosley to 57 for the Ravens. Russell Wilson, nice. 9 of 10. Dominator Auto. That is a nice, nice hit right there. That's real nice. Yeah, see, so you gotta be careful with them uh, backwards cards or whatnot. You get a little something like this. I have yet to see. All right, this is the first of these that I pulled. I always wondered if they had Dominator autographs. Indeed, they do. Man, that's a sweet looking card. Number 9 of 10. That is sweet. It's not on card. It is a sticker auto. But it is still very nice. Nice hit for the Seahawks. All right. Imagine if that was autographed. That would be sick. Anyways, I've seen these. I've gotten these autographed the snow days. I have yet to get a rated rookie auto another one I'm missing. I've hit these, the Elite, Elite Series Autos. I wonder if they have these autographed, the uh, Hot Lights, or Highlights, I mean. Donruss Football. Very interesting. This is the Aqueous Test for Late Manor H. Kaboos.
Like this would be a cool auto. You know, I, I don't know if he's alive or not, but it would be a cool auto for the uh, insert, the man of the year. Top Gurley to 100 out of 100 for the Rams. Little eBay 101. These would be cool autos too. I haven't seen these as autos. The rookie grid irons. I'm sure they are out there. I've hit a bunch of these as autos. This one too. This MVP would be a sick autograph too. Dream on more press proof for the Packers. These would be dope autos too. The throwback Donruss inserts would be super cool. Again, these would also be cool autographs. I don't know. I, I like the inserts in Donruss football. I've hit one of these, the Matthew Berry Fantasy Life autos. It's just it's very tough to get a, a a nice hit in this set. Marcus Mariota, 400 Titans. You know, one auto, one relic per box on average. And with so many base cards, tough to get a hit. DeMarco Murray with the patch to 150 for the Titans. How many of you guys got a PS4? I uh, did not come into the office at all this weekend. I figured, uh, you know, after working 14, 16 hour days... Five days straight. I, you know, I kind of earned myself a little, a little, a little, a little, a little alone time. And I played a, played the heck out of Spider Man. Von Miller press proof for the Broncos. Freaking love that game, man. It was so much fun. For those of you that actually play video games, um, it kind of it's it's basically Batman. It plays like one of the Arkham Knight games. Or whatever the Batman games as of recent, except you're Spider-Man, <laughs> which makes it so much odd. Dude, it's just it's a really fun game. Gregory, dude, if you got a PS4, check out that Spider-Man video game. If you're if you're into if you're into like role-playing games, action games, adventure games like that, dude. Oh, you only play sports games? Oh, well, well again, if you feel if you feel the itch to you know to to feel like a to feel like a superhero. Check out Spider-Man for the PS4. Uh, Steve Young to 100 for the Niners. PS4 got some really good, like, exclusive games. Horizon Zero Dawn. Spider-Man got a war. They got some good exclusives. There's some good games coming out, too, pretty soon. Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out soon. Kingdom Hearts 3 next year. Devil May Cry 5 next year, too. Is that Carlos Hyde running that back? No, that's defense. Carry on Johnson of the Lions to 100. Oh, dude, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Sony guy as well, Gregory. I've had... I didn't get a PS1. Because it's funny, my, my dad asked me, Oh, do you want to... He, he gave me the option. He's like, do you want an N64 or do you want a PlayStation 1? And at the time... N64 had like really just they just they had really good games just you know overall you know regardless so I just I opted for the 64 which I do not regret I love the N64 but you know the PS the PS1 was a little bit more for like I guess adults and I was a kid so they marketed you know the 64 correctly to me so that's why I wanted it but you know now that I'm older I was like dang I wish I had gone with the PS1 because the library on the PS1 is ridiculous. You know, there's good games on the 64, but way more game selection 
on the PS1. And yeah, I did get the PS2. I still have my PS2. Uh, I did not get a PS3. I skipped the PS3 and got an Xbox 360. Because all my friends had 360s. So I was kind of peer pressured into that one. And not, not for nothing, but the 360 just overall better system than the PS3, in my humble opinion. Um, maybe, you know, kind of better games on the PS3. Maybe if you're, you know, whatever. It's all a matter of opinion. But I thought the 360 won that console war. But however, when I saw the PS4 was coming out and all the, you know, cool stuff they were doing, I was, you know, I jumped right back on that wagon. PS4 game. Dude, I still, I still got my PS2. I still got my PS2, and I still got, like, all my games for the PS2 that I didn't trade into, like, GameStop or whatever. Carlos Hyde almost had a little touchdown there. I'm going to need you to get that touchdown, bro. Stay on the field, man. Get you, get you that touchdown, Carlos. Uh, see, I thought that could have been an auto there. See, when they're backwards, they get you. James Washington, the die cut to 25 for the Steelers. You know, Xbox is cool if you're into, like, I'll admit, I think the Xbox Live, like, service, the, the online streaming or gaming service or whatever is better than the PlayStation. Not by much, but I do think they are better. Um, and Jarvis Landry with the touchdown there. That sucks for your boy because I'm playing against that guy. Give Carlos Hyde the ball, please. Probably going to lose this week. Oh, whatever. But yeah, not a fan of the Xbox exclusive games, though. They got Halo, and that's about it. I don't really like shooting games like that. Devonta Freeman and 100 Falcons. Sony crushed it in, in this, you know, this generation of the console wars. Which, if we're going, if we're keeping score, I got, I got Sony 2 to Microsoft's 1. You know, obviously the PS2, probably the greatest gaming console of all time. Mohammed's a new press proof for the Falcons. So, you know, they won that one. The PS3, I'm sure I had strong sales, but I, you know, I, I, I want to give the 360 the nod. I haven't looked up the numbers, but I'm pretty sure that Microsoft did better than Sony did during that generation. But the PS4 absolutely crushed Microsoft this generation. James Washington to 100 Steelers. So we'll see what the next generation is. I'm pretty sure the Xbox is going to announce a new console for the next generation before Sony does, probably like in the next year or two, to try to keep, uh, get a step ahead. I don't know. I don't, I don't see Sony relinquishing the throne anytime soon. Man, you know, there's always Nintendo. Nintendo's always there, you know. Steady. For the kids, press proof. Tony Gonzalez Chiefs. Come on. Where are the autos? Okay, so now I know press proof, so no autos because of the press proof. Uh, Dak Prescott to 25. Nice to cut her passion for the Cowboys. They haven't announced the PS5 yet, but there's been reports of them, you know, already sending out like the, uh, like the, like developmental kits and stuff to developing, to developers, to, you know, to start working on PS5 games. But the console itself hasn't been like announced or, you know, what it looks like, none of that yet. Although I think they'll do that like 2020. That's when I think we'll see the PS5. Aqueous tests of the Broncos here. Like this is what I'm thinking. Next E3, which will be next year, 
they're gonna even or leading up to E3, they're gonna you know hint at the PS5, and then next E3, they're gonna debut the PS5. And they're like, oh, this is what it's gonna look like. Blah 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 blah. Here are some of the games we got for the PS5. Boom 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 boom. Right. And then they're gonna hit, you know. They're, but they're not gonna give us a release date. They're not gonna give us a release date at E3. They're just gonna tease it like, oh, this is here's the PS5. Boom, blow people's minds, right? And then maybe like at another, you know, conference that they have later on in the year, maybe TGS. You know, or maybe even Sony will like make its own press conference later on that year and be like, oh, okay, boom, here's, you know, November we're gonna have a, a conference major news and that's when they announced the the release date which i think should be like summer 2020 would be a good time to sell a console all the kids going to school or out of school they got time to buy video games or play videos blah, blah, blah. i don't know to 400 martial Lynch raiders i think i think they should stick with the price point of like 399 250 premium points right there that'll replace the autograph which is a uh, not cool, in my opinion. I think if they sell it at three ninety nine, they'll be solid. I think it's gonna be obviously higher specs and whatnot. Tariq Hill to one hundred for the Chiefs there. It'll probably have like a, a like a terabyte hard drive. Like, you know, hard drives are getting cheaper and cheaper. It might even it might even have like the option for a flash drive. You know, that way you can have, like, upgradable uh, memories and whatnot. To, you know what I mean? I don't know. I got ideas. But one thing I do know is, that's the end of the break. We got, uh, not, we didn't get short of two autos, but we got plenty of points. We got 250. I mean, we got 150. What about you, Gregory? What do you What do you think? So I need to random that. So let's roll the die. 11 times in the random. Let me pull up the randomizer. And let me also grab the teams. So I could do the old copy and paste. Do copy, and then we do paste. Boom on the screen. All right, so we're going eleven times. Top spot after eleven goals, we'll be receiving two hundred fifty penny points, and the second spot gets one fifty. So one spot gets two fifty, second spot gets one fifty. All right, what's up, McBaba? What's up, Giants fan? All right, going eleven times. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Going eleven times. Boom. 11 times. Right there. So the top spot Panthers, second spot Cowboys. So the one two punch. Congrats to the Panthers getting 250 Panini points. Let me just write that down. And then 150 going to the Cowboys. All right, Coolio. All right, now let's hit you with this recap. So, patches. We got Prescott to 25 Cowboys. What's up, Big Greg? The Marco Murray, 150 Titans. The Biscuit of the Bears to 150. And OJ Howard of the Bucks to 25. Those are the patches. We got 150 Panini points going to the Cowboys. That replaces an auto. And 250 Panini points going to the Panthers. That replaces an auto. An actual auto. Russell Wilson, 9 of 10 for the Seahawks. That's nice. And a 6 of 10 Lawrence Taylor Giants patch auto. That is noise. And that was the break. Thank you very much. Good out to you.